Emily and I are here at the start of Blue Lakes Trail. With the end goal of Mount Sneffels, we will be backpacking up to the lower Blue Lake and spending the night there to get an early start at Mount Sneffels. It's been quite a while since we've had a chance to backpack together, so definitely looking forward to this adventure. We've arrived at the lower Blue Lake. It looks like there's quite a bit of campsites left. Well, we're gonna scout around a little more and try and find a good one. All right, we found our camp spot. There's a lot of campers out here today, especially for a Saturday. Um, Saturday, you can expect a lot of campers, but we've got some nice seats here, um, some flat ground right over here. Like really nice, lots of places to sit and chill. We are gonna call this home for the next few nights. Let's set up. Tent is all set up, ready to go. We got everything set up. Now it's just time to chill. We'll get the jet boil going, cook some dinner. We've got the peanut butter whiskey going. And it's time to chill, relax. Mount Sneffels tomorrow. And when we get back, we'll do some exploring around the lakes. Hopefully we can get some Good videos, some good photos, but either way, we're gonna have a good time. It's about 5.30 a.m. right before sunrise, and we are about to head up past the two upper lakes to Blue Lakes Pass, and then up to Mount Sneffels. hard to get up this trail. These views are just smacking me right in the face. Looking down on the second lake, there's some campers there. Second lake is completely above tree line. So you're not gonna get any protection from the wind if you wanna camp up this high. And here is the third lake. Got some campers up here. Not a bad spot to camp. But this is just a beautiful area.
and we stopped several times. It's only 45 minutes from the, only took us 45 minutes to get up here. Could probably make it much faster without view breaks. And we're not the fastest hikers either. If you wanted to get a cool sunrise picture. Okay, we are gonna make our way up to the pass. First time viewing this area, I would say the second lake is the best place to camp if there's not a lot of wind in the forecast. And if you have some, maybe some chairs, because it's not like the lower campsites where there's logs everywhere, down trees everywhere, you could use as seats. So it kind of be of a pain and pain in the ass without a seat. That's just my opinion though. Just making our way up these switchbacks. They're not too bad yet. Emily's taking her coat off. Still on the switchbacks, getting into a little bit more difficult terrain. You can see the sign for the pass. Just a couple more. Couple more squigglies. Whoa. Nice. Looking down at Yankee Boy Basin. That's the other approach to the path. Now we don our helmets and head up that. Heading up the ridge. Everything's pretty easy to follow so far, but we are still at the beginning of this ridge. Looking back down at Yankee Boy Basin, I'm gonna go up through this gully right here. Probably should have went, we should probably go this way. This was a dumb choice. Once we get past here, we're gonna look for a drop down, I believe. We're in the gully right now. Yeah, let's go up this way. We'll be able to see once we get up here. I'll go first if you want. It's a notch we've been looking for where we descend and the summit. Summit's right that way. It's hard to see in the shadows, looking back from where we came from. All right, let's get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. From, don't wanna go down that way. Emily stayed high and I'm gonna go around up the gully.
There's Emily coming up. Probably the most confusing part of the route. You can't film me while I'm fearing for my life. I see determination in your eyes from here. Pretty sure we are through the crux of the hike. The rest of this looks just like some loose rock. Most of the rock is solid and the loose rock for the most part is avoidable. You don't wanna step on any and kick a rock down on the people below you. Haven't seen the lake for a while. Man, she's pretty section and then if we're on the right track which I know we are we should see the kissing camels off to the left there's the kissing camels so cute you're gonna go up this narrow hole and then you're gonna hang a left at the top down at the Yankee Basin I don't know where the summit is, but I think we got to be getting close. This rock is nice and solid. I like that. I don't know, a couple hundred more feet, maybe. Coming up the ridge, you can see all three blue lakes now. No more gas left in the ass. Uh, well, hopefully. Here we are. At the summit. <laughs> High five. That was the Southwest Ridge route to Mount Sneffels via Blue Lakes. Can also be accessed via Yankee Boy Basin. Most who look to summit Sneffels take the South Slopes route from Yankee Boy Basin, which is a more direct route with some easy class three. Prior to attempting the Southwest Ridge route, we did extensive research and downloaded the route with pictures from 14ers.com so we could use the app even without cell service. It's very easy to get lost on the ridge and in spots, descending off route can lead you into a spicy class four terrain. Once off the summit, we descended back down the ridge which involved a lot of careful down climbing. I would recommend descending the scree filled south slopes if you're not comfortable with this type of climbing. Overall, I thought the ridge was fun and the views will smack you in the face and wake you up if you're feeling tired. If you would like more information on the route that we took, check out my all trails. I'll leave a link in the description, but please note that this is not a guide. This is just the route and the way that we chose to take. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Dave Spates. See you on the next hike.